A man who wishes to deceive can always find those who are willing to be deceived. He who seeks revenge must dig two graves, one for his enemy and one for himself. The desire for revenge is a natural human instinct, but revenge does not lead to stability or peace. Never do an enemy a small injury, for they are like serpents, only a mortal blow can take away their power to strike back. Men should either be treated generously or destroyed, because they take revenge for slight injuries. A prince who wishes to maintain his state must learn how not to be good and to use this knowledge or not as necessity requires. Whosoever desires constant success must change his conduct with the times. The ends justify the means. In taking revenge, a man is but even with his enemy, but in passing it over, he is superior. It is better to be feared than loved, if you cannot be both. It is much safer to be feared than loved because love is preserved by the link of obligation which owing to the baseness of men, is broken at every opportunity for their advantage, but fear preserves you by a dread of punishment which never fails. Hatred is gained as much, by good works as by evil. Everyone sees what you appear to be, few experience, what you really are. He who wishes to be obeyed, must know how to command. Men forget more easily the death of their father, than the loss of their patrimony. Princes and governments are far more dangerous, than other elements within society. Men are driven by two principal impulses, either by love or by fear. The nature of people is such that they quickly forget a benefit but revenge an injury. Men rise from one ambition to another, first, they seek to avoid suffering, then they seek to inflict it. The promise given was a necessity of the past, the word broken is a necessity of the present. 